Alright everybody, welcome back to another X-Vault gaming video, X-Vault here, and today I want to go over, as the thumbnail does suggest, ads coming to the Xbox and the PlayStation, well, supposedly. Well, let's go ahead and jump to it. All right, so like I was saying, we're gonna be talking about ads possibly coming to the Xbox and the PlayStation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this article in particular. There's a bunch out there, but I'm pulling this one from Comic Book Gaming, uh, comicbook.com rather, and kind of go over the article, break it down, give some thoughts and opinions about what to expect or what we should or should not accept. So going on through this, uh, PlayStation reportedly exploring ads in games to rival Xbox plans. So they go on to state, PlayStation is reportedly planning to feature advertisements in some select video games. The platform holder already has a history of ads in the gaming space, but this would be the most significant approach to date. Previously, PlayStation had a free game social space called PlayStation Home. Within it, players could live a virtual life by owning a home, buying items, playing games, and so on. It also allowed films to advertise via movie trailers, but it was more cohesive. Now as games like Fortnite are showing the power of advertising and free-to-play games, thanks to crossovers with some of the biggest corporations in the world, platform holders are looking to monetize in it, of course. Um, following a report that Xbox is planning to launch ads in free-to-play games later this year, Business Insider has released an article stating that PlayStation is planning the same thing. The idea is that free-to-play developers can monetize their games by featuring ads in-game through things like digital billboards, so it doesn't break immersion too much. The potential downside is that PlayStation is reportedly considering giving rewards to players, such as in-game skins, for watching advertisements, which suggests there could be a video component to this. The platform holder reportedly hasn't decided on whether or not it will take a cut of the revenue, but could charge advertisers to collect data on players' consumer activity on a PlayStation. As of right now, this system is expected to launch by the end of 2022. While there are a lot of similarities to Xbox's potential and plan, there are some stark differences. Microsoft reportedly has no plans to allow these advertisers to collect data and also isn't planning to take a cut of the revenue for itself. Of course, nothing has been officially announced, so all of this is subject to change. The response from fans could also lead to these platform holders making changes or ditching the idea entirely, but it remains to be seen. It's likely we'll hear more about these systems in the coming months if they follow through, though. So that's that's the essential piece of it. That's the whole nitty gritty of it. Um, and I am a million percent against it. Um, on social media, most folks are also very against it, whether you're on an Xbox or PlayStation. Uh, obviously, this does not... Um, bring up Nintendo or any other platform out there at this, this time, like Steam and games coming through there, or, you know, Stadia, if we want to even bring that up. Um, but the fact of the matter is this. Uh, you know, even if it is free-to-play games only, whether it's it's Fortnite or any other free-to-play games, whether it's a digital billboard or not, it still does break the immersion. You're driving down, you see a digital billboard like McDonald's, you see something like Walmart.com, you know, subscribe to Walmart Plus and all this stuff, right? And and all these benefits. I mean, it is, it does break the immersion because you can't help but notice, especially nowadays, what is out there, right? So, you know, if they, if they keep it minimal, the product placement is minimal, um, okay, but if it's often or if it's running ads or 30 second ads in between stuff, even if it is free to play games, that's a problem. That's a huge problem. That's a big problem in the mobile community with all the free games and you get your extra coins, you get your extra lives, you get all this stuff, skins like they are mentioning, whatever the case is. You get it by doing those ads and that just is, is so horrible. That's one of the big game breakers to be literal about it for me and mobile gaming in general, because it does, it breaks the immersion. I'm tired of it. It feels cheap. It feels chanky to me. If they bring that over to free to play games before long, if they get away with it long there, what are they going to do? They're going to bring it over to the games that we're paying outright money for. And maybe with the subscription services like the new PlayStation plus tiers or game pass, they'll probably start doing different tiers where you're going to have, well, if you pay a little bit more, it's ad-free games with your subscription. 
Or you can do a cheaper package, but it's gonna have some ads. It can really, really take a hard left at this point. So you need to think clearly on this and really need to understand that we as gamers need to voice our opinions out against this. If anything actually like this does come to fruition, this is a big no-go in my book. And uh, everybody else should also be very concerned on the matter as well. Um, I know it seems like not a big deal right out the gate. And maybe it won't be, but if it ends up coming to fruition, like I said, we have to voice our opinions because we've had our opinions heard, whether it be price increases for this and that, whether something's not fair. Um, they have gone back uh, because they don't want to disgruntle the community because once uh, our foot's in the sand, our foot's in the foothold dirt or whatever, um, they know there's no budging there. So they will listen. So we do have to do that. But and then on the off chance, this could all just be a lot of patented stuff that's just a maybe kind of thing, or maybe there's other odds and ends to it, and this won't even happen. So hopefully that's the case altogether. But um, if not, you know, these are both corporations. They're not your best friends. Um, they are out to make money because they are businesses. As, as much as some of us like to forget that sometimes, they don't do anything out of the kindness of their hearts when it comes down to it. Now, if we're talking about developers and games and stuff like that, yes, they pour their their lifeblood, so to speak, their sweat, their tears, their time away from their family, their dedication to give us products and games and art to uh, fill our lives and, and to give us joy and to do that because they have a passion for that hobby and for that art. Um, in my opinion, and so that's how that works. But when it comes up to the next level and it comes to businesses and the figureheads, the VPs, the directors, the corporation leaders, all that, what matters to them is the green, the money, the yachts, the whatever, right? I know maybe I'm over jumping the shark there with the yachts and jumbo jets, but you, you get my drift there. Um, but really, that's what it comes down to. So when it when it gets there, don't think any corporation is your best friend. I've said this before. We have to keep them in check, and we have to do that every so often. So this would be another one of those circumstances. And like I said, if it does come to fruition, this could easily take a hard left and into another direction that we are going to dislike even more. So just keep an eye out for this stuff. I'm not a fan. Very subtle stuff I'm okay with. Um... Someone brought up uh, the monster cans in uh, Death Stranding recently, and uh, yeah, I thought that was kind of cheesy, and I thought that was that was you know again you're you're talking about a Kojima game, and uh, you're talking about an immersion game, a game that uh, immerses you in that world and feeling like you are you know that that delivery person so to speak, and you have to get these important packages out, and there's a reason behind it, and you're. All that, but uh, you know, before I go on a tangent there, but it's it's, I didn't agree with that then. Uh, the contract expired, so I think the drink is something else at this point in time. I forget what it is, um, but I, I did that think that was really cheeky, and that that sort of stuff does break the immersion. It makes you laugh, even when they did it in the trailers. I was like, I saw later, um, it, it just kind of makes you laugh, and it breaks that immersion. And I I don't ever really agree with it. Um, that goes for any game that had any sort of advertisement. You know, background billboards, if you don't pay too much attention to it, you know, it, stuff that's subtle, I think, can be okay. Something more than that, the 30-second ads or something to that effect, or more um, in-your-face product placement. Like, I, I could bring up the monster stuff, you know, because it was. The camera's there. It's close. Uh, Sam Porter grabs that. He's drinking it. You can do it often every time you're in one of those areas, right? Um, not a big fan of that stuff. Personally, I get it. You get uh, the advertisement, you get more revenue, maybe more funding for the game in general. So I get it to a point. But as a gamer, the, the consumer that is playing that uh, piece of hardware and art and all that, I, I'm against that. So, but I appreciate everybody sticking around for the entirety of this video. I just wanted to spout some uh, uh, opinions and everything like that after getting through the article. So let me know, obviously, your thoughts and opinions as well in the comments. I would love to hear from you about this uh, news here as well. And uh, as always, if you are new to the community, definitely consider subscribing, liking, commenting, all that stuff to help out a small content creator like myself. And uh, it helps me get there. At this point in time, we are at 251 subs. So we are doing it. We are getting there. The next goal is 300. So I know we can do that with everybody's help. So thank you so much as always. 
we'll let you have the best rest of your Wednesday back. And uh, we'll see you next time on the next X-Fall Gaming video. And until then, take care.